before we start this, let me just say, I make these videos so I can help you decide if you should pull for the upcoming unit or not. And I give off my opinions and whatnot because we have a new banner upcoming. And if you don't trust my opinions, which is completely fine, difference of opinion, you can go down in the comment section and see what other people think to help you decide if you should pull or not. And if you don't trust that, I also have a community forum on my YouTube where I ask you guys how you feel about the upcoming units. And you could just decide with anonymous voting if you want to pull or not. So speaking of banners, we have a new limited banner coming up tomorrow. We have Spooky Halloween Night Part 3. This time it's a limited Halloween Ronier. And she is not like your ordinary buffer unit. And that's right, buffer. She may or may not change the way that you may enhance like a charge yell or a break yell. But is it actually good or is it not that great? Let's, well, let's see. So Devilish Tricks Ronier. She, <laughs> she's hitting different. So here's her stats right here. 2,400, which is really not that bad for an enhanced unit. And she also has 319 speed so she's pretty fast so she could be in the front so she has a heal and assault and she has enhanced with the recollection field so her heal here heals all your allies including the reserve characters that you aren't using while also putting up the physical resistance for 20 percent her assault here is a strong slash attack on all enemies only strong not extra while also dealing wind continuous damage not super continuous but the regular one and this is the one that's like hmm do we should we pull for her she has both a break and a charge charge yell the raises incarnate break and incarnate charge of a single ally by times two for one turn while putting up the recollection field by one and before talking anymore here's her incarnate the sweet imp incarnate slash attack on a single enemy damage increased by 20 percent when the recollection field is step three or higher for win and deals 15 percent added damage if they have the continuous damage her special partner is t say which is weird because the only win t say we have is this very old one right here with her imaginarium she brings up attack by three percent for an unlimited amount of turns which stacks up if you have more and increases crit by 15% that only lasts for two turns. Her leader skill puts up attack for all your wind element party members as well as her member skill. All right, so if we're talking in terms of like our buffers, right? We have this Leafa here who has incarnate charge for wind, by the way, just for wind. I assume it's because I have this at level two. She's level 100. She puts it up by 2.5. So if you level up that Ronier, I'm pretty sure she'll go up to 2.5 as well for both break and charge gel. There's her stats. She's one of the first characters to come out in this game now that's pretty neat but now let's take a look at this Adis here who came out just a couple months ago she has the in you charge break yell god i can't speak also by 2.5 rotates you can change that if you want but her stats here she's a magic attack hitter so it's almost 8,000 with her weapon with the armor so what there's like a 1,500 difference i don't know i'm not trying to do the math here all right so her enhance or i'm more focused on this enhance because to be honest although the heal is nice i probably would not use it unless it's for emergencies but for the most part i'm going to be very focused on enhancing and trying to put up either my charge or my break depending on the situation and in terms of wind characters and some other characters because nowadays there are characters that can heal while attacking in this case i believe it was this alice here that heals while attacking while the swimsuit leaf here puts up the physical resistance while attacking so say you have those characters that this heal would be completely useless for slash it's nice that it's for all enemies so if you're doing the ornal battle then yes she would be pretty nice to have to hit everyone but honestly like i mostly use like the special partner to use active link on the ornal battles and just wipe out everything so it's for me honestly it's kind of unfortunate that it's only the the t say because there's only one win t say and it's like this old one here and honestly by the time it gets to her turn because you gotta put them together like prop t say is probably dead let's be real and let me just say if it looks blank next week because let's be honest they could be cheeky and they could put a random extra banner which could be like a Halloween T say and then the next couple days on October 30 when progressive comes out that's when they pull out the progressive units and then the new season path like they could do that they honestly could do that because money so this is me personally but what I think is I personally would rather have it separate with the uh, enhanced break or the enhanced yell the reason I say that is because well let's let's say let's talk about win so it's more likely that you will not have this Adis because she was limited but let's say you're new to the game and you don't have this Leafa but if you've been playing this game for a while and you still don't have 
of this leaf, I'll be shocked. So let's say you only had the one buffer. Let's say you had that Ronier. I'd be so confused of who I want to give that yell to. Do I want to focus on charge? Do I want to focus on break? That's why my team here, like, although, like, I'd have a, a free spot. Because now I'll have someone that can not only do a charge yell, now I'll break yell. I mean, I could replace that Leafa and she'll deal more damage, but it feels like that new enhance would be more beneficial to characters that have cab or back, aka a charge and assault and a break, or the other way around. That way, you, if you can't decide what you want to do, you give it to them and then you could ch either choose your break or your charge. And I'm not saying it's going to be useless for characters that don't have cab or back. But honestly, if this game gave us more diamond cubes, then I would say yes, but since we got to be more strict with our diamond cubes because progressive and anniversary is coming very soon keep in mind one week for progressive anniversary at the end of november so like you probably want want to have the most diamond cubes you can and with all these limiteds i would honestly recommend saving this but i do love the, the stuff that that ronier has she looks so good too and she yes she will deal more damage than leafa because leafa is an old unit although you can give her some new items she won't deal as much damage because her stats are a bit lower but if you do have this ronier then you can you can replace that leafa um some other thing if you use this ronier and like any other team just for the enhance i think the only downside side is it has a recollection field it hasn't bothered me if it's a different element and you bring like this enhancer like a different element to another team like, so far as as i've been playing this game it ha it hasn't like been a problem for me but i'd rather it be the the same element so you can deal the, the max damage you can do don't get me wrong if you do pull her that's great she is a great enhancer but if you if you want to be smart and you want to go for some really great units there is progressive which as i showed in the last video it's fire there's a lot of strong wind elements that came out these past couple months especially the, all of them being limited like ronier here yugio from last week the swimsuit units a couple months ago and like i said they were all limited so we're probably broke probably um in other terms is her imaginary important to be honest uh, i'm more focused on like if she would deal enhance uh if you're a whale then yeah you could go for the imaginariums but if you're free to play honestly you don't really need the imaginariums unless you want her to be your damage dealer but to be honest if you were to focus on a damage dealer just just get that Yuji's Imaginarium, this Ronier. She, she's a great enhancer, but her Imaginariums won't be effective unless it's Earth Element on the other team. But if you bring her to like any other like team that's not Wind Element, she's like not going to deal any damage. Or if you don't trust me, I put a poll on YouTube, which I will I'll announce the official one tomorrow. But so far, 79% of you said save for progressive. So like keep that in mind if you want to save or pull. But hey, let, let's be real. If you pull on her because she looks neat, let's just put that because kid advertised for friendly i see you're a man of culture i can't blame you anyways i would really like to know what you guys think about this ronier of course this is just like the first 30 minutes of just finding this out so i'll probably change my mind by the next video i'll let you know when the scout comes out tomorrow let me just say that it, it is a little bit rare for enhanced units to come out that put up a charge yell or a break yell especially for the specific element so like keep those in mind i'd really would like to know what you guys think let me know in the comments it would help a lot but thanks for watching i really appreciate it make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new and if you want to join i have a disco at the bottom of the description now with an upcoming events channel so you can see what's coming up thank you admins thanks for watching i'll see you guys all again in the next video goodbye